Hi, right, everybody. It's your boy Doe from the Doe Two's Podcast. You know what it is, man. Well, you know how I say: like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel before I start. All right, your boy, he driving right now, so I'm looking away. So you know, because I'm driving. All right, this is my little, uh, my little uh, thoughts on the Maria Taylor slash Rachel Nichols slash LeBron James advisor advisor situation. All right, I got some small thoughts real quick. Like, you know, people think you know people, you know, you get at work, people that you work with, you're like, oh, they're cool, I know them. No, you don't know people. You know what I'm saying? You think you know, you know them in a certain atmosphere. So you're like, oh, that person, I work with them. Yeah, I know them at work, they're cool as shit. But that's where you leave it at. Because when someone goes home or when they with other people, that's, that's who they know in, in that field. So, you know, when people be like, well, you know, Rachel Nichols and this and that, like, I ain't got no people, no, no. I, hey, look, Rachel Nichols probably really good at her job. Real Tales really good at her job, because, you know, they up there, up an echelon type of people. Um, but, you know, when shit get, you know what I'm saying, when shit get hot, motherfuckers gonna get froggy, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like this. The part that really make me laugh is, how the hell you have me do a show, but when the show biggest moments or the biggest time for the show to be on, I'm gonna get replaced by somebody with another show. So let's say I, I host a, a nighttime show and Deuce hosts, hosts a daytime show. But when that nighttime show, you know, has like a, a special event, Deuce is gonna do the show. I'll be like, and Deuce is my man, that's my best friend, that's my brother, we do. I'll say, wait, why? Why is he doing it? Nah, nah, nah. That's my best friend. So. And you got Maria Taylor doing countdown all year long, all year round. You had Say Steele doing it. You had the uh, other the other lady, um, um, Miss Michelle Beadle doing it. Rachel Nichols doesn't do countdown. So when the NBA Finals come around, you want her? She wants to be the head person of countdown. No, you do the jump. That's like someone's when the free agents free agency special hits with the jump. They go, oh yeah, Rachel, you got to go because um. Somebody else is gonna come do that. She'll look at them like they're crazy. Now, it's, I ain't mad at her because she put that in a contract and was ESPN dumbasses gonna agree to it. That's dumb. But my objective is that's an ESPN issue. And, you know, I just feel like if Rachel Nichols had an issue, she should have been like, look, look, that's between y'all and Maria why she can't do it. Or I should be, now y'all can't do this, take it out of my contract. Once you let them do it, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you can play whatever the contract. The motherfucker said, nah, Maria's gonna do it. Be mad at ESPN. Don't say crazy stuff like, oh, she's this higher and that type of higher. That, that's what made it look crazy. And you know, I don't care what anybody say, a Steven Jackson, Matt Barnes, Kendra Perkins, Rich. At the end of the day, like, you, you could know her, but at the end of the day, if you really, it wasn't, if it wasn't about black or white, you wouldn't bring race into the situation. So she shouldn't have said, oh, she had the first hire. It's like, yo. That's my stuff. They take my stuff away. I don't, I'm not mad to say they took my stuff away. Yeah, they took my shit away. I don't care. The reason why they took it away, they took it away. So they shouldn't have did it. But if you can say, hey, you know, they should get their stuff together, whatever, whatever. But don't say, oh, you know, and then, you know, because someone's going to look at you crazy. You know how it is. It's competitive. And I ain't mad that they compete. You know what I'm saying? And then you got people who people who work with her. You know, you got to think about it. Jalen Rose and all them work with her. You think they're going to be like, all right. Well, now we want to work with you, Rachel. They're gonna be like, no. They're gonna, you know, they on camera. They'll do what they gotta do. But behind the scenes, you know, everybody's politicking. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's politicking behind the scenes. You know, and again, you know, Kendrick Perkins did what he's supposed to do. And Rich Jefferson did what they supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, save you a piece and keep it moving. You know, people want them to be like, have you know, go extra, you know, pro this and pro that. They, they're not gonna do that. Them do, yo. I'm gonna be real with you, Kendrick Perkins. I, I really don't watch him. You know what I'm saying? But I don't blame him to do what he do because at the end of the day, they get him out of there and get another, they get a Ryan Holler, they get anybody do what he do, really. You know what I'm saying? So he's smart. I'm not that special about me. I got, I'm got i putting a good position. I'm not going to risk it for some shit that ain't got to do with me. So I don't blame them. They just did what they supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm really, nothing I'm really kind of like, what's going on is, it's LeBron advisor. So no one's going to say nothing about him saying he. He, he can't take no more Black Lives Matter and just Me Too movie. He can't, he can't. But, you know, 
that LeBron tweets about that stuff all the time. LeBron says stuff about that all the time. So you're saying you, just, you know, you don't you don't have you don't feel like dealing with it no more, but you got to deal with LeBron, who's your boss. Oh, you get paid by LeBron, which makes no sense. All right, so you know, I think LeBron needs to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, you got a guy working for you that he really don't really care about the movement that you're really going through. You know what I'm saying? Black lives really don't matter until he's getting his paycheck. That's the only time it matters. So, yeah, I'm be if I was, Le you know, I'm waiting on LeBron to see what he's gonna say because he got something to say about everything. LeBron's quick with the. He got something to say. So now it's one of your, the, you know, somebody you signed a check to, which you got to say about it. And I want to hear about you hearing this shit. You, we're going to handle this internally. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's someone who works for you, who feels like he's done with it. He's overwhelmed with it. All right. Okay, he could be overwhelmed. Not mad at him. But I guarantee he ain't telling you your face that he's overwhelmed with it. All right. So that's what I, I have, you know, you know, that guy, I ain't hear too much, you know. About, about it, but that's that's another here there. I just figured, hey, at the end of the day, Maria Taylor about to get her bread. They kind of insulted that they tried to have contract negotiations out there, whatever. But you know, at the end of the day, I I, I, I do watch in the college football Maria Taylor. She's she does she does good at her job. And like I said, Rich Nichols is good at her job. I ain't going in front. You know, I watched when she's on a jump. I watch a jump. You know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, I, please miss me with the oh she hired black people, black athletes. Look. Basketball is a fucking black sport. It's seventy percent, five percent players are black. Most of her favorite players, I guarantee, are black. So who you think she's gonna put on TV? She always tell you her favorite player is Allen Iverson. You know, you think she didn't want to work with T Mac and all that? She like, I guarantee you, she is a bigger pool of black players she could reach to, from um, to you know work with. You know what I'm saying? But let's look at the black reporters. How many black reporters that come on that show? I see a lot of white reporters on that show. Let's be real. So don't don't miss me with that, Stevie Jack. Like, oh, she hot. Look, look, at the end of the day, you work who you work with who you work with. All right. So believe me, and I'm not that impressed by that. All right. That's like me having a fucking show. I'm gonna work with the fuck out. I'm around. You know what I'm saying? They said have a quarterback show. I'm gonna have a couple black quarterbacks. I'm gonna have a couple some more white quarterbacks and black quarterbacks. So most likely you're gonna have what you're gonna have. So please, please miss me with that, Stephen Jackson. You're not the face of black equality. That was the dumbest thing. I love Steve Jackson. We say the bad shit. All right, I'm out, man. Bring your conversation what you think, man. All right, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.